Hi and welcome to another edition of The Travel Geek. I'm Kyle O'Donnell doing a book review today on Aung San Suu Kyi's book Letters from Burma. I can't say enough about how amazing this book is. It's literally a collection of short stories and, and papers from the author. And if you don't know anything about her, she's basically one of the leading oppositionists to the troubles that are currently underway in, in Myanmar, in Burma. In 1990, Suu Kyi won the Nobel Peace Prize for Freedom of Thought, and she currently sits at the seat of General Secretary for the National League for Democracy. She recently got released from house arrest and spent, I believe, 15 years of a 21-year sentence in house arrest. She was voted into her current position before, I, I believe, she, she went into house arrest just after the votes came in, so uh, the government never even let her uh, work in her assigned role. However, from her house, she was able to do lots of things, including releasing this book. So, in any case, her book is, like I said, a collection of stories and papers written before and during her time incarcerated uh, at her house on Inya Lake in, in Myanmar. She has probably the most amazing underlying message for peace, freedom, and nonviolent resolution as any book I've ever read. If you're like me, you'll like this book. I, I, I'm not a big book reader. I rarely read very thick books. I generally look for the audio book or something, but uh, this book's awesome because for a reader like me, there it's written in very short segments, so it's very easy to stop and put it down, pick it up later. It's very easy to read a lot and feel like you've absorbed a lot of information, uh, so it's, it's not dealt out like uh, chapters in a normal book. It's also a very easy read. There are a few grammatical errors. I don't fault any editors or, or anything like that. I, I lived in Southeast Asia for several years and I, I think that getting a book from a language that has absolutely no roots in a Germanic sense to common era Queen's English is probably one of the most difficult things for an editor to do, especially if you're coming from you know, the region. But I can say that the book makes quick work of speaking directly to the heart of the reader. It also becomes quickly evident that she has a style of writing that speaks to her ability to notice the quieter, simpler facets to life, but that she is also in no way reluctant to attack the more profound and detailed controversy currently underway in Myanmar. I won't go into this one too much. I will just say that it's, it's a nice, quick, easy read and it will give you insights as to the the situation that built up to uh, the current strife that's going on in Myanmar. Again, can't recommend it enough. Aung San Suu Kyi's book, Letters from Burma. Go out and get yourself a copy. And then when you're done reading it, give it to somebody else. Okay, thanks for watching and be sure to stop by kyleodonnell.com slash travel geek for more information, news, films, books, and of course, photography. Okay, thanks.